What is up boys and girls and welcome to another video game review. I am Bianca and for today I will be sharing my thoughts and review as well as my impression on another indie puzzle platformer game. Seriously, why am I getting a lot of review codes for games like these? <laughs> That is out for the PlayStation, the Xbox, Nintendo Switch, and PC through Steam. It's Sketchbook Games, Lost Words Beyond the Page. Lost Words Beyond the Page tells the story of a young Isabel Barbara Cook, or as her friends and family call her, Izzy, who receives a blank journal from her grandmother. Izzy aspires to be a writer and so she uses her journal to tell not just her own personal story but also a fantastical story in the world of Astoria. In this game, what story Izzy ends up telling depends on the words you choose as you literally leap through the pages of her journal. It is similarly true with the choices you pick as the character she is writing about in the land of Astoria. The game switches between Izzy's personal story told through her diary and the one she is writing about the fantastical land of her imaginings. The way that the story for both unfolds is written and blended so perfectly and so interestingly that it's hard to stop playing this game as it grips you and urges you to find out what happens next. Their stories mirroring and affecting each other as the game progresses. In this masterfully done masterpiece of a title from Sketchbook Games, Words literally have power as you try to solve the puzzles in this platformer game using them. In Izzy's side of the story, you can use them as platforms to get to other sentences in her journal, or to bring life to photographs, or maybe even to wipe them as you guide Izzy through her narrative. While in the story revolving around Astoria and its heroine, of whom you can choose her name as well as, you know, the clothes that define her character, you make use of words as magic, controlling and manipulating the world around you, from lifting heavy objects, repairing broken bridges, breaking obstacles, bringing light in the darkness, and teleporting, just to name a few. The controls are easy to remember as well, even when playing this on Steam, that beginners to the genre can quickly get into it. Solving the puzzles requires you to make use of words and phrases staying true to the game's concept. The world you move in, whether it be through the pages of Izzy's journal or through the vibrant world of Astoria filled with different areas and locales, is beautifully rendered in a visually stunning watercolor style that makes you feel like the world and the story itself is literally leaping out of the pages. The music of the game is equally as captivating, rising in epicness when the need arose evoking awe in the world being created before your very eyes or dropping low and somber to mirror the depths of the emotion it needed to convey and portray that will have you empathizing. The voice acting likewise reflects this. The presentation of the game as a whole is stunning, vivid, and poignant and it grips at every emotion in your heart. The story Immersive and impressively told in the switching perspectives of both Izzy and the heroine that she had created for her own fantasy story, deals with a myriad of topics from self-doubt and loathing to remorse, grief, crippling guilt, helplessness, the pain of being lost and losing someone you love, and what it takes to overcome them, determination, hope, acceptance, peace, love, family, and friends. 
The game is not without bugs, however, and though those are mostly graphical glitches in nature that pop up once you get, you know, farther into the game and the story, in my personal playthrough, this started happening around um, the forest area or the forest stage of the game and would occasionally crop up during cutscenes. Lost Words Beyond the Page is also pretty short. Playing through it blindly and for the first time, I managed to finish it in under 4 hours and after doing so, it only made me want to play more. Truth be told, there has never been a game, especially not a platformer game or a platformer puzzle game, that has gotten me grinning from ear to ear one moment and then bawling my eyes out the next. This game made me laugh and it made me cry so many times and I don't cry often, especially not when it concerns video games of all things. The ending is so unique that I personally believe it's something never done before and I'm not going to spoil it. All I can say is what this game did, from its emotionally moving, fully voiced storytelling to its innovative gameplay that is completely unique and entirely its own, to the meaningful exploration of the world, is refreshing, brave, and it made the story that much more meaningful and heartfelt felt that even after the last words appeared as the credits rolled, I was still in tears. There really is nothing else I could say about this game other than it is one that I really hope you guys would check out because words cannot do it justice. Like if there's one game for this year that I would have to pick to endorse and recommend, well, Lost Words Beyond the Page is it. This game got to me in a way that no game has that even when I was writing down my thoughts on what to share about this game, and even now as I am sharing it with you all, I can still feel the tears forming as I remember the roller coaster of an emotional journey this game put me through. And quite honestly, even when I am not a fan of platformers, as I've mentioned countless of times in the other reviews and let's plays that I have done, I am really, really glad that I was introduced to this game, which I feel now would be my personal standard to how amazing and inspiring platformers could be. It is also the reason why I made a conscious decision to not make a let's play of this. Because this game, quite honestly, is a game that you should experience and play for yourself and not something that should just be watched through a let's play. So if you guys are interested in this incredible incredibly wonderful masterpiece that is a mesmerizing and striking, intelligent, sublime, and inquisitive puzzle platformer from Sketchbook Games, then you can get it now for, once again, the PlayStation consoles, Xbox, Nintendo Switch, and Steam for $14.99. Again, price is dependent on your region of choice. And that about wraps it up for my thoughts and review as well as my impressions of Lost Words Beyond the Page. I really, 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 really hope you give this title a chance, even if, like me, you aren't a fan of the puzzle platformer genre or if you're just a curious beginner to the genre or to gaming in general. There really is nothing else I could say at this point apart from commending the devs, most notably the game's writer. Um, Rihanna Pratchett for this title. You have made a fan out of me. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you all in the next video. Until then, 
You guys know the drill. Dream on, fly on. Bye-bye now, everyone. Keep safe, stay at home.